The World Food Programme estimates that at least 5.3 million people are suffering from acute food insecurity as Zimbabwe battles the effects of a severe drought, mainly driven by the El Nino weather conditions. The Zimbabwe government, alongside various aid agencies, have been distributing food across the country. As food stocks in most houses run out, the government is appealing for more aid. In the second tranche, which we have started distributing, we are distributing to, to a target of 6.2 million in the rural areas. Uh, this target, uh, we are giving three months, everywhere where we go, we give the three months tranche to an individual at 7.5 kgs. So an individual gets 22.5 kgs for three months. And we don't discriminate between old, young, uh, infants. If uh, you have a one week old child, that child gets also the same as the adults. The uh, case transfer, as has been said in the brief by our chair, we are starting this week. And our target is 1.7 million uh, Zimbabweans in the urban areas. The United Nations says although immediate humanitarian aid is crucial, the focus should be on a long-term strategy and better management systems. We are in Zimbabwe today and in Southern Africa in general where we are dealing with serious drugs, with serious food security concerns among the most vulnerable. But there is so much food in the world. We are wasting about 1.3 trillion tons of food that is being wasted in the world. But yes, still, we have people all over the world that are hungry. So if we can only correct the, 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 the post harvest losses, we will not be talking about problems of feeding people. So there's a lot of challenge ahead of us all. But we have to work, continue pushing to make sure that we leave no one behind. The Zimbabwean planting season starts next month and is set to benefit from the La Nina weather phenomenon, which typically brings normal or above normal rainfall. However, before the harvests, it's expected that widespread food insecurity will impact over 7.6 million people, and that number will further increase between January and March 2025. Kylie Kumalo, SABC News.